Hi, welcome to another interview on the Mojo Mecca. I'm here today speaking with Jambi. He's a local indigenous custodian here around the Northern Rivers area. And I feel really grateful to be sitting here with him today. He's someone who is deeply inspiring for me and holds a very strong space around here. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> We were just talking a little bit earlier uh, about just simple ways that people can connect more with the land and and also with themselves. So I'd really love for you to just speak a bit about the ways that you find work for you to to ground you and to reconnect you when you may you know. Your pendulum may swing <laughs> either way. Well, for me, the I guess the most important thing is knowing yourself as deeply as possible. So at the at the core level of everything, and the more solid you know yourself there, the easier it is to return. The easier it is to hold that understanding uh, while you go through your life trials and tribulation so you know it is it is for me and you know, a lot of spiritual people talk about their practice and all that sort of thing and a daily routine and ritual but you know also knowing that life is life is the the ceremony so when I first started to walk walk with a bit more awareness Um, getting to know myself was a, the very first thing. Finding who I who I am in the world, more so asking the question, the creation. What is the creation that, that's me? And knowing that I'm a sovereign being that's been created between the mother and the father, between the creator and Mother Earth, and feeling that and having full a good working knowledge of that as I go through life so that at any moment I can I can be as grounded and solid as as if I was in a in that deep meditation in that just sitting in that space and be able to navigate through whatever life's thrown at me from that space from a very clear space from a very connected space to the wisdom, to collective learning, to my ancestral guidance, to what is actually good for me and what isn't good for me, what agrees with me and what doesn't agree with me. The thing with that that knowledge is you have to look after it and you're also responsible for what happens around that. My first real um, attempt at connection with myself was just something simple as watching the sunset. Just finding those those quiet places to and being aware. So not just watching the sunset, but feeling how I feel in that and feeling the world sort of going to sleep. So yeah, it was very very simple beginnings and then once I started to get an understanding of myself um, asking myself you know when things came up do I actually like this do I like that or am I do I do I just do it because everyone else is doing it or things like that but also um, starting to integrate my vibe my connection with the earth so and I did that just by picking up rubbish. Mm -hmm. I used to walk walk my dog around the block and with a bag and pick up rubbish every morning, every afternoon, just as I was walking and I'd got to a point where without judgment or expectation, so actually no energy on it at all, but I'd pick up pick up rubbish and then feel what that felt like trying to tune into the earth. All right, so you Okay, I can feel that little bit of thank you come back. A mm. little bit of acknowledgement that I'd done that. 
without expecting anything. Yeah. Just so it was a pure, a pure thing. And then once in a while I'd walk past something and I'd feel this, get back and pick it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I started to get an understanding around a good, bad, right, wrong, light, heavy. So a polarization that I could start to guide myself from, that I could start to understand uh, what I was being told, what I, what what I needed to know, you know, and very simple, very basic. Just from that, I've come so far that these days it's more of a constant flow. So it's not as rigid, but in that, that was just the early stages and constant uh, walking in awareness with that.